How is cryptocurrency taxed? Welcome to Money Class Monday. I'm Brittany Castro, CFP, founder and CEO of Financially Wise Inc. Before we do anything, make sure you hit subscribe to get access to all my new videos when they drop. All right, so I talked to some tax professionals and I have some guidance for you. So basically the IRS released this guidance in 2014 around cryptocurrencies uh, such as Bitcoin and they identified them and classified them as property. So basically if cryptocurrencies are used to purchase goods and services, whenever that vendor receiving the cryptocurrency actually receives it, they're responsible to pay income taxes on the fair market value on, at the time of receival. Also in this same 2014 notice, the IRS indicated that when you sell cryptocurrency, you're required to calculate the difference between the cost basis and the sale price, right? To determine if there was a capital gain and you would owe capital gains taxes on that. Can you hold cryptocurrency in your IRA? Well, yes, technically you can if you own it through a trust or using something like the MicroStrategy Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, but I think over time, it's gonna be easier and easier to own cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum within your IRAs or retirement accounts. Now remember, cryptocurrency is still very volatile, so you need to review your overall financial plan and investment strategy, figure out what's right for you, feel comfortable about any amount you're investing in, and definitely understand the risks involved. Hopefully this video was helpful. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos all about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, and I'll see you next time. Boom. Easy. Let's call it a day.